Hey everyone, it's Jessica with another layout for the Thermal Web Design team. Today I have a very patriotic layout for you. It's actually featuring baseball and a game that we went to um, in July of 2022. So what I've done here is I've taken my circle dies by uh, Echo Park and these are the stitch circle ones and I have cut all my photos into those beautiful circles and I'm just arranging them across my page here and I'm just going to mark out um, kind of like a, just a pencil outline on these just so that I know where to put my um, mixed media and my foiling. So I'm just drawing a line all around these and then I'm pulling out this stencil by scrapbook.com. It's uh, one of my favorite ones. It's got this beautiful uh, firecracker or fireworks design on it. And I am using my stencil pal along with this, along with some pixie tape because I'm just taping off one of these fireworks because I just want to use the one and I just want to repeat that pattern on the page. So I just want to tape off the rest of it so I don't get any uh, where I don't want it to be. So that's the nice thing about the pixie tape. You can actually use that. It's a temporary tape or a removable tape and you can tape it down and it has enough stick to it, but it doesn't rip your paper all up whenever you peel it back off. So I'm just putting a little bit with my palette knife onto my stencil pal and then I am just smushing that down across my um, stencil here. And I wanted to continue using my stencil pal, but it's kind of big and I had trouble. I didn't want to mess up my other design that I already had. So I just ended up using my palette knife and I pulled out a different one because I didn't like that one. Um, just to get a smooth adherence and um, I pulled out this one. This is just my Becky Booten one. And um, yeah, so I'm just spreading these across my page here, kind of just um, staggering them just a little bit, kind of turning them at different designs. And I think I put uh, five of them on here. So this is the um, Deco Foil um, Blanco Gel. So it does dry white. As you can see, it will actually dry that same color, um, which is kind of nice because you can see exactly where you put it. The other one, the Duo Gel dries clear. Um, so I've used the Blanco gel for this and while that's drying I have cut out some other circles to put behind my photos to map them and I'm just distressing the edges to um, just rough them up a bit and I use those same stitch circle dies. Then I'm just using my um, adhesive tape roll for this. I'm just cutting off little strips to pop all of these up up off of that pattern paper just to create some 3D dimension on my page. Just finishing um, peeling all the strips off of these and then just placing them all down on the pattern papers. Now I chose um, some pattern papers that I literally just have scraps of and I've used most of it up from Fancy Pants Designs. It's called the Hometown Summer Collection and I have, um, I'm just down to little bits and I actually on this layout used most of it up so I don't even have these patterns anymore. I've used pretty much all of them. So I'm happy that I'm getting to stash bust today. So I've pulled out some Gina K fancy foils. Um, I think this one's called Brilliant Red. I'll check in, um, pop it down in the comments for you or the description for you guys. But I've just cut out um, some pieces off of this sheet of fancy foil and I'm just placing it down on my uh, layout where my deco foil blanco gel is and then I'm just sandwiching this in between some carrier sheets and then I'm going to actually sandwich it also between my clear cover sheet as well and I'm just going to run that through my hot laminator. So here it came out of my hot laminator. I'm going to go ahead and peel those foil sheets off and as you can see anywhere where I have that blanco gel it's beautiful and it just adhered that foil perfectly to my design here. So I've staggered them where my photos are out around them. I'm just going to place my photos back in place to kind of see how they're going to lay. I really like the way that that looks. So I'm going to pull out my stamp set by Heidi Swap. It's got a lot of fireworks designs and it's kind of like a 4th of July theme. This um, game that we went to wasn't on the 4th of July, but it was in July, late July. I think it was the 29th, if I remember right. And... Um, we had a lot of fireworks at the end of this game so it was really fun and I thought this would just be a perfect page to use all these fireworks designs and um, use these stamps on too. So I had a blast really stamping all these cute little fireworks on this page and I've used black archival ink for the black and then the blue there is prize ribbon distressed ink and um, I think I actually pulled some red too as well. And the red that I pull out is candied apple. 
so I had to look behind me there. <laughs> so there's my red that I've pulled out. I kind of tried to match that one piece of pattern paper that I was using on this layout for the red and it just worked out perfectly. So I'm just continuing this stamping, I'm just doing very random stamping but just kind of filling in any of those spaces that are left over. And then I'm going to pull out some embellishments by Ellie Studio. Um, I have a lot of random bits that I'm going to use on this page. So I'm just pulling out just um, different collections. I'm mixing different collections together. I'm going to pull out these red letters. I believe these were from a Christmas hip kit club. <laughs> and um, I'm just going to put my title down below all these photos. I'm adhering my photos and pattern paper down with some of the easy tear tape. I like the, um, I think this is half inch size. That's the size that I really like. It seems to work really well for everything for me. Um, I have the smaller sizes too, but I really like the bigger size. And then <laughs> I start putting my title down. Why didn't anyone tell me that I spelled baseball wrong and I'm going to finish this layout to completion and actually take my photos, edit my photos, and that's when I noticed that, hey, I spelled baseball wrong, so I fixed it at the very end, but yeah, sadly, I didn't realize that I spelled it wrong until after I had all of my photos edited and completely done. So, whoopsies, but it's okay because actually at the end, um, I ended up doing something different with it that I really like, so it turned out actually a lot better than it was here. So it all works out. These are just some random LA Studio bits that I have. Um, these are just some little circle cute embellishments that I'm going to scatter around the page. I felt like I had to keep that circle-y kind of design um, with all of my embellishments and things too because that's what my circles and my photos were. So I kept that circle design. I'm going to throw in a couple of these little baseballs. Um, I had this pack with like four of them in that I was going to use, but I didn't feel that the color kind of matched this. It was more of a vintage feel and mine is not a vintage, vintage type layout. So um, I stuck with those other ones that I had. And I'm pulling out some Echo Park brads. These are some adhesive brads. I think this is the summer collection or summertime. And then um, some more LA Studio stuff on the right there. And then this is another Echo Park collection that had some more adhesive brads that were very similar in color. But this is a different collection called um, A Slice of Summer, I believe. So I've been using that one for quite a few of my layouts this month too. And then um, just that little random banner there from Ellie Studio. And then this one I'm going to do my journaling on that just says about, um, about the game and about them giving the boys these 3D glasses to enjoy the fireworks with whenever we went in and got admitted into the game. So uh, they were pretty happy about them and they wore them for quite a big part of the game actually. And then of course when the fireworks started they took them off. So I guess it was supposed to make them um, look different or more enhanced or something, but I didn't put them on myself to try because my boys were hoarding them and they wouldn't even let me try them out. So they didn't give them to us adults. They just gave them to the kids. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm just using my Tim Holtz tiny attacher to just put some um, pattern strips behind. Those were literally the last pieces of the pattern paper that I have left. So I figured, you know what, why not? I'm going to throw those on this layout too and then I won't be wasting anything at all. Here I'm just pulling out a couple more little random Ellie Studio stars and little bits. I'm gonna place down some of these little circles that are on here too. And again, I'm just filling in these little spots and spaces in this layout and just, um, just putting kind of whatever I can find. <laughs> And then here I'm just pulling out some of my Alter Bond liquid glue. I'm just going to add a whole bunch of sequins to this layout, but I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch me put all these sequins on. But these sequins are actually from the Not Just For Boys Kit Club. Uh, I love this mix, it's super cute. It has these cute little fireworks and stars in it and it's just adorable. And um, yeah, so I've used, um, as you saw, whenever I put my little strips behind my, um, my strips that I cut at the top and the bottom there with my uh, stapler. I actually attached those down with my adhesive um, tape gun or tape roller there. Tape runner, that's what it's called. And um, I really, really like that tape runner. It's one of my favorites and it's just so easy to hold in your hand and just really love it. 
I didn't use it a whole lot on this layout, but I really, really like to use it as much as I can on these layouts. So there, I just added some splatters with some Nouveau Mist and added my date stamp a couple times. And then I'm just going to add a whole bunch of little stamps from the same stamp set because it has a lot of little wordy bits that are super cute from Heidi Swap. So I'm going to add these all to that top splattered area and just kind of fill in a little bit to um, add some more interest. So I'm just stamping with some black archival ink again. I know that that's going to give me a nice crisp stamp and it's not going to be um, distressed. <laughs> when you use the distressed inks, um, it is a distressed kind of ink, so you're not always going to get a super clear and crisp stamp. If you want one of those, then you have to use something else. Um, I don't usually mind it so much because a lot of times my um, layouts are grungy anyway, so it doesn't bother me. Here is where I realized after I had all my layout completely done in photograph that I forgot that E in there, so I'm just adding it in here. And then I'm going to do some machine stitching across both of those. So here is that stitched across there, so I know that's not going to go anywhere. They did shift a little bit before I did that because they didn't have the best adhesive on it. It must be older. But here is the finished layout. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'll link everything down below for you in case you want to grab anything from the shop. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope I've inspired you to create something beautiful. Bye-bye.